Hi all, welcome to the Chinese Super League League SPC guide for Adair and Jonathan. Two eighty-four rated cards. Adair's got eighty pace, eight five shot, seventy seven pass, eight seven double and thirty three defending, seventy two physical, and Jonathan eight six pace, eighty three shot, seventy three pass, eight six doubling, forty three defending and eighty three physical. Both looking not too bad cards. Could have had better, could have had worse, but we ain't gonna complain. They actually are Adair in all honesty for a Italian tracker could be um, handy for hybrids and say for Jonathan as well because Brazilian strikers are a little bit limited so um, it's interesting to note that League SBC cards um, Brazil and striker is currently ticking off a few of the boxes as always folks don't go out and copy my roots but if we can smash links it would be awesome sub to the channel if you're new follow me on twitter at g is legend all the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always in terms of the league of SBC, it's looking about 100, between 80 and 120k to do, um, mainly, um, depending on what your console really is, what it's coming down to, it's like 80k, generally for like Xbox I'm noticing, like, and nearer the 100 if you are the um, PlayStation and about 120k for PC, so it's like, definitely, it's not crazy prices, but in realistic terms, for 130, 135k worth of packs, are roughly what I've worked out as. That's not bad. That isn't too shabby. Like obviously, the price will probably go up as the days and weeks progress. Um, but this is the type of league that is perfect for going bronze pack method. Like honestly, you could have a field day with this. Like that's where I've tried to put in as many bronzes as I can to kind of show. Oh, you can go bron bronze pack method. When you need gold, you know, some teams you'll need um, like um, Akhmadov or a Miser Jerski or whoever, like whatever team it may be, you sometimes you just need that one gold or two gold just to kind of bulk it up. But there is still quite a bit of flexibility. There's sometimes routes where if you can get a silver cheaper or another bronze in cheaper, then it can work. Like there is a lot of flexibility in pretty much all the teams I'm noticing. I've just tried to go. Um, where I was able to make it work for rating and chem, I wasn't um, so ingrained in trying to make it like the cheapest possible. That was kind of like, I knew it'd be harder said than done, mainly because some teams are straightforward and some teams are not necessarily. Um, like last year, um, the hard, like the most expensive route was Henan um, GI, but at the moment that is quite cheap. That's like 4k. The most expensive routes that I'm seeing at the moment are Guangzhou R and F about eight to ten k. Guangzhou itself, like Guangzhou Evergrande, that's about seven k for that one. And the other big route is Wuhan Zhao. That is such a fluctuating value. Um, PlayStation has that like eight to ten k, and Xbox seems to have it like five. So it's quite um, interesting. Now a frontal skin like necessarily looking at it, I don't think you may need to go to Alaska. I just threw him in because if I was to do it I'd probably throw him in anyway but you've got to try and find flexibility in some of the routes and I, this is why I'm going to show you it as well just to kind of give you an idea. The team doesn't have as many golds or decent rated as you'd like. Obviously you're never going to throw pulling on. We know that's not going to happen. Obviously Elkson just has his Chinese card nowadays. So you're kind of clutching a little bit, so be wary of that when it comes to... And out. See what we go with. I'll s like... The good thing with some of the teams is you don't overly have to rely on too many high rate gold. Like, because the routes themselves are generally between say 61 and like 67, 68 rate. You do get away with like, oh, I can put one gold tier, and I can, or two golds, and then I can go like nine bronzes. It makes such a big difference, and like I can see quite a few, like folk, for example, like Frog, who is quite a big bronze pack method fan. Like honestly, this is when you can have a field day with it, and like folk will put probably tens of thousands of coins just to get oh, we'll go bronze pack method for bronze Chinese super league players, and it'll pay off. It will pay off eventually because. Um, I've noticed, like when I was doing bronze pie method the other day, I got like Bundesliga bronzes, and some of them were selling for three and four k. I was like, I remember when I packed them initially, it was like they were maybe five, six hundred coins, and it was suddenly like five, six times the value. It was like, thank you very much. So you never know the same might apply here. Um, 
in terms of like good teams to kind of go for for like packs, um, the ones that are standing out are the Guangzhou RNF for a premium gold pack, the like the Prime Electrum packs I would say are quite handy to go for. Like um, Quang 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 SWM, they've got a small Prime Electrum um, players pack. Hebei um, China Fortune, they've got a small rare and mixed players pack. They, like the rare and mixed are generally where you'd find some luck and some against you. The Shanghai Shenhu has a small Prime Electrum players pack and um, Beijing Guan has a rare um, small rare mixed push pack so you will see a constant theme of small um like half packs basically half a full pack if it was the full packs then it would be very interesting but i can kind of see why they've gone oh it's small this but in reality they should have just went um like jumbo silvers or just re like silver packs instead of just doing like halves and halves and halves because like small gold push packs are generally woeful i find um in terms of like the worst packs because um, obviously that's kind of still important to mention as well. Guangzhou has a mixed players pack and it's one of the hard, one of the highest rated routes. I'm actually surprised that Guangzhou Evergrande does not have um, something higher than a mixed players pack. Like even a, even like a rare mixed players pack would have been worthwhile for that one. Um, mixed players packs are never a fan of because obviously you've only got like one rare to work with. Like all the rare silver packs could pay off because depending on other leagues that you may pack. So them and themselves may prove to be quite useful, but as I said, 80 to 100k to do this. Um, I would say after packs, well, 80 to 120, as I said, because you've got to kind of put the net out just wide enough that prices will go up and prices will go down, and then obviously you've got to factor in for all the packs that you, that's there, but also the players that you may have already in your club, and depending what way you go about it, because for all you know. You could go bronze pack method and for say um, 10k worth of packs and we're going to assume that you get 5, well, and we're talking 400 coin packs, so that's um, 25 and all. From 25 packs, we're going to say in theory that you may get enough that will cover for 7 teams, so 7 or 8 teams potentially say, worth of like players, but obviously you're not um, necessarily going to get like each team covered you might get say a couple for one team and a couple for like and so forth but I would say um, it's worth referencing because the prices aren't too bad the cards aren't exactly the worst they're not the best they're not the worst they're not the best they're definitely there to um, at least do like I can see a few folk that will be wanting to do Eder or um, like Jonathan looks half decent actually, I was, I, I'll actually be honest, to see if it was Alan Carvalho, even I might have felt tempted to do it because he actually has quite a good base card, um, but I would say that both are worth doing and like, for pretty much probably 200k to rinse them both twice out and with two silver informs and packs this week, this is probably the time to do it because I would say you've got a chance of it surely out of these packs, especially because there's so many silver based packs. If you get Owen Doyle or Pellegrino or any of the even the gold informs that are silvers, you're gonna be laughing. Like you you're gonna be making like ten K discard out of like nine and a half, ten K discard out of the so like the silver and silvers that went to gold in forms, or if it's any silver in forms, you might make about eight to ten k, maybe more, depending on what their um, going rate is. But I would say it's worth doing. Like I'm going to do some bronze pack method for trading to go rate again. I'm going to do some more because with two bronze in forms, eh, sorry, two silver in forms, with two base cards being bronze, it's worth going for. And I might as well see what Chinese super league players I can pack into the bargain. Like most of the players that I've got in the chain Super League in general are packed anyway, so I've got like a decent amount to work with if I wish to go and do it, and like I've got the coins to go and do it if I wished, but for me personally, I'm not really fussed about actually doing the League SBCs at the moment, I'd rather just go and grind, um, like building up the club and building up the coin balance, but the, like, I feel they've kind of got this priced about right looking at it at the moment but obviously 
it comes down to other leagues as well if they keep the consistency like it, it comes down to price consistency the card consistency and um, like obviously what's been chosen and then the consistency of like the packs because you've got to have everything consistent if, it, if they're not consistent and they're not worth doing then it becomes redundant pretty quickly from a grinding view they are worth doing and um, both so far anyway in my opinion um, I did initially have my doubts when I saw the cards but in terms of the packs they are worth grinding so let me know folks in the comments down below who you are going to go for as I say, I'm just going to quickly show you the packs as well but are you going to do Adair, Jonathan or both so hopefully you find this useful folks as always smash the links always sub to the channel if you're new follow me on twitter at G is legend and I will catch you all later for more FIFA 20 content